All right, guys, I have a 2005 Pathfinder here, and let's see if you can see. There's a lot of noise coming from this brake. You can't really tell by the front, but I personally think there is a, uh, a very deep groove that's been scarred into the rotor on the back. Um, I've got a, a very strong scraping sound, uh, like it's digging into metal. I don't think it's a wheel bearing because it goes away at times and a wheel bearing will be permanent. Um, so I think uh, I got a set of pads and rotors here today for this Pathfinder and we're going to get them off. This is what we're looking at and the outside really doesn't seem too bad, nice and smooth. But look at the back side, can you see? All right, I don't know what happened back here the pad just completely gone or what but we'll find out soon enough I don't know if you can tell that is very rough that is definitely my sound it is digging into the metal slowly so I should be able to uh, just replace this uh, pad rotor and be good to go so let's get everything off all right check it out I got the rotor off it's just these two little 14 millimeter bolts right here I got the, the, the pad for the main uh, caliper and then you'll need to, to compress these right here you'll need to compress that uh, back and as you can see this pad was completely gone uh, the inside one so that is uh, particularly why uh, like, look at that is all this is all very chewed up should be rough against your fingers or on your skin if you rubbed hard against this and that's why it was very severely digging into the caliper right there or the rotor right there so I got two more main bolts for the bracket all right I got here let's see yeah here and here should be a 19 and then that's off and I can smack the rotor and get that off and uh, should be quick if these bolts come out nicely it should be quick all right guys I got it back on uh, they're already bolted down remember you have to re either retain your little clips here uh, then slide your pa your pads in and, and then you gotta push this back so that it'll fit over and once it does you can pull out your slide pins and clean them and re-grease them and then uh, throw this back on, bolt it back, and this is done. So, not too much to it. Obviously, once the, the wheel lugs push this, it'll stay perfectly straight. But uh, I'll also remember, see these little holes right here? I believe this car has a, a little spring here to keep these from, from touching. Um, however, when I took this apart, they were not there. And my new set of pads did not come with it so I'm not installing them with springs right now um, but if your car has them you should reuse them but uh, I think that's all I'm gonna do for this video so that pad looked like that remember pretty nasty and then let's go find that rotor real quick so this was it yeah it was, uh, the pad was eaten to the end of that pretty good. But, uh, thanks for watching.